Maloney. Hey, Lou. I have to pee, so I'm going to go right here. <laughs> oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> On the next Men Are So Smart, a story about an airline passenger arrested after allegedly harassing a woman and peeing on her seat. It would have been okay if he just harassed the woman, but then he, when you peed on the seat, that's... Man, I gotta pee. That's where they draw the line. That's all in the next Men Are So Smart. A Colorado man is facing federal charges after he allegedly... I love that word. You gotta say that before anything right. nowadays. In this litigious society. 50 people saw it, but he only allegedly did it. He allegedly harassed a female airline passenger and then, and only then, urinated on the seat in front of him. Uh, so his name is Michael Allen Hag. Probably Hag, actually. Uh, Boulder was arrested Thursday after his plane, Frontier Airlines Flight 9864 landed in Charleston, South Carolina. He has been charged with a felony count of interfering with a flight crew and a misdemeanor charge of indecent exposure, according to the newspaper. Uh, an FBI affidavit obtained by the smoking gun states that Haig was drinking double vodka and tonics during the flight. Sweet. That, that might have a little something to do with it. It could be. So there was alcohol involved. Yep. Assigned a middle seat. Nah, that's trouble. <laughs> Haig allegedly told the woman sitting next to him he was going to meet up with an old girlfriend in South Carolina and was physically excited. The woman told authorities Haig asked her a lot of personal questions and kept staring at her chest and legs. At some point, Haig allegedly started touching a woman seated on the other side of him, hmm. prompting her to yell, Stop touching me! Don't touch me! That's Don't <laughs> touch my stuff! <laughs> and then summoned a flight attendant. I, if I didn't know better, I'd swear I was driving my kids to school again. <laughs> He's touching me. He's looking at me. Uh, stop pointing at me. Yeah. Uh, Haig was moved to a seat in the last row, which he shared with a third woman, uh, identified as Denver Station KDVR, as Emily. Oh, yeah, Emily. She's hot. Oh, she's great. She is awesome. She told the station flight attendants, told her she might want to get up just in case he tries to touch you. <laughs> when Emily took her phone out to snap a picture to show the man uh, to show of the man to show her girlfriends things got a little bit gross so she says while i have my phone out trying to take a discreet photo the guy starts to pee and urinate on the seat in front of him and i scream he's effing peeing he's peeing omg and the flight attendant doesn't even acknowledge him at first, acknowledges me, and says, you need to calm down and stop effing cursing. Yeah. So for all of her trouble, yeah, yeah, the airline gave her, uh, they offered to waive her baggage fees. Oh. And they gave her a $200 voucher wow, so she 200. can fly again. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. You so wanna... she's got that going for her. Which is nice. <laughs> I think they handled it extremely poorly, she told the station. You think? Someone should have sat with him. Well, that's what your job is. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> yeah. The safety and security of our passengers is a top priority. We have blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, yada, yada, that yada. That they always say. Yes. Okay. Uh, the guy was booked on Friday at the jail, but released on his own recognizance later in the day. If convicted, he could spend 30 years behind bars. Have you ever had an incident, anything close to this on an airplane like this? No. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the lines are long for the bathroom, though, so I get it. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, no. You know, some say you really shouldn't serve alcohol on a plane. But you know what? Some people can't fly. Well, have a drink before you get on. True enough. There's there's plenty of bars in the There's always a in bar. the airport. I'll yeah. be honest with you. If I'm flying in the morning on vacation, not on business. Right. On vacation, man, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning... A nice gin and tonic. That's delicious. <laughs> and then you get on the plane and you sleep. That's the way it's supposed to work. I'm not supposed to be peeing on people. I think that's in the rules. Because uh, they frown on that. Yeah, they do. The last yeah. time I tried, I know they were really discouraged me from peeing on people. Yeah. Or seats. It's, it is. It's discouraged, yeah. for sure. Yeah. In fact, you know, maybe you should just stay in a reclined position. Like your seat table. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're the table. All right. Chair, um, table back. <laughs> well, 
Uh, These airline em employees, they, they sure are learning a lot of stuff lately. Uh, yes, like how not to drag people off a plane. That's one of the things, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? And I, I, I have to say, though, that people are getting crazier and crazier. So they're being faced with challenges that they could have never imagined in their wild, wildest dreams. Yeah. So there is no training for that. What do you do when somebody stands up and pees on a seat in front of you? There's, there's nothing in the manual that covers that. Uh, so it is. A lot of the things they're doing are kind of on the fly. Uh, this is what we think should happen. They don't really have, typically, they don't have law enforcement on the plane until they land. What about a marshal? Uh, marshals most times won't divulge themselves for something like that unless they feel there's a, f a threat to the flight itself. Uh, so if he's peeing on somebody, marking his territory, well, that's same thing a therapeutic dog. My would dog do. does that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they're not going to they're not going to give up the fact that they're an air marshal mm, for over something. urination. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. You know, when we were kids and we would fly, uh, we had to get all dressed up. <laughs> and the last time that I flew, I think it was out of Nashville, Nashville to L.A., uh, there was a person on a plane in pajamas. Nice. Uh, that's... We've come so far, haven't we? <laughs> I know, and my daughter, she won't fly unless she has a little neck pillow thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't need one, but I, my daughter does a lot of flying. She travels internationally, and she does a lot of flying. So I, I get it, but I have a very hard time sleeping on a plane. Me too. I don't know why. I know people that can sleep anywhere, not me. No, I mean, it's a... It's over five hours to Hawaii. Um, I can't. I can't sleep on that plane. Yeah. Well, the seats are too freaking small anyway. They're small. It's just noisy enough that it's. And plus, you know, if you you drool and you happen to have your head on the shoulder of the person next to you, that's un uncomfortable. It doesn't help when you have the kid behind you kicking the seat either. <laughs> yeah. You sure know? doesn't. Yep. All right. So. Uh, wow. So next time you fly, you might want to. Take it depends with you and just hand it to the person <laughs> behind you. End of story. As a courtesy, yeah. Just in case you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed this episode, got a kick out of it, uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. As always, we would appreciate that. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See you on the next Men Are So Smart. <laughs>